People after this election need to remember what we talked about. They need to remember that we do have high taxes. They need to remember we are the crime capital of Canada and we have to set goals to be the safest city of Canada and be bold and believe that is possible because if we don't, it's not going to happen. And so we need to expect of our future leader that commitment and of our future city council. We cannot let them do things as they've been done because it's not working for us. And when it comes to our civic service satisfaction, we need to get City Hall working better for us. The citizens everywhere demanded it. Didn't, whatever the outcome of this election, people aren't satisfied. They do not think that City Hall is working for them. They need to start. <laughs> and I think there's some great people in City Hall that are trying start their best working. to do a good job, but the system is broken. And it, we've, there's complacency, uh, we've got things that are rut, and the only way to change it is by acknowledging we have a problem, improving the processes, the efficiency, the service commitment, helping to make ideas possible for the employees, ensuring that people's voice are being heard, listening to the public, and actually including what they think and need in the decisions that are being made, not being top down, but being bottom up. The elected representatives are there to serve the people, first and foremost. And that is what we must demand of our city council and of our mayor. Yes. So over the next four years, I, I ask, and I know I will be watching, um, where we go with the record debt that we have, where we go with the record tax increases, what happens with the transit union, ensuring those workers get a settlement that is fair and transparent and something that can improve our, our, our transit service system here in Saskatoon for all people. That we ensure that when we're doing road repairs that we're getting job done right the first time and we're bringing in new ways of doing permanent fixes, not temporary fixes and that we're growing more sustainably. We're growing in and growing out and our campaign has identified a number of incentives to stimulate that and that we have to change the accounting at City Hall so we can truly see what the cost of projects are. Those are all things in this campaign that we've identified as well as flattening the hierarchical structure at City Hall, providing stronger, more inclusive leadership and being truly truly a city that is for all the people and having that nation to nation yes. formal government structure with our indigenous Woo! and native community and, and these are all things that we heard in the campaign and the other piece that is so important is growing small business and entrepreneurship yes. I want to you that what, no matter what happens in the resource economy it can boom and bust but what is yeah. stable and what has always been here for Saskatoon is it's small business. Yes. And we need to support our community to grow, to make sure that the, the businesses have the employees, that they have the service, that their red tape at City Hall is removed and they see that City Hall is working for businesses so that businesses can hire employees who can have a good job, a good life, a good family, a good home here in Saskatoon. shaped over the course of these 10 weeks and, and months before leading up to this election wouldn't have been possible without the without the support of my team so I have to acknowledge a few people um, and of course first I, I we're, we're kind of all started with working with uh, with Incitrix uh, research who helped to, to us to be able to do some of our homework ahead of time and be able to make sure that we were tuned in to what the priorities were of the public of course we had some ideas about what the priorities were, but we didn't want to assume those were what everybody's priorities were. But what we saw in this campaign, if you read the editorial of the Star of Phoenix today, it lists that is our platform. And what we did is we forced the other guys to raise their bar to meet our platform, and they even stole some of our ideas. They were so right on it. And that's because we had a great, a great foundation to build from. And I also, want to, I also want to acknowledge, of course, my, my core team for all of their incredible work. So, um, Sara uh, with uh, Trusted Marketing Services, who honestly is a social media genius and just helped to get us kicked off in the right way and was sometimes my, my bodyguard online. And, you know, it was just, I'm so grateful and thank you. And Tom, yeah, woo! And Tom Wolf, you know, for being an incredible policy person and, and 
wrong, just making sure there is not a number wrong. We had, uh, there was fact checking, and people can tell you that the numbers are wrong. I'll tell you right now, not one number in our campaign was wrong, because we made sure that everything was factual, that everything could be quoted, so if you hear anything and anybody tell you something different, they're wrong, period. We gave the facts, and that's the fact. <laughs> Honest to goodness, um, just uh, brought so much, always elevated, always elevated. It's easy to kind of get caught in the mud and, and want to start slinging things, you know, but we always had to keep the debate at a higher level, keep it on policy, keep it on leadership, keep it on the people, keep it on the community, on the future. And Monica made sure every one of our releases was grounded in what was most important, and that was moving the policy forward and making sure it spoke to a better, higher level, more authentic way of being a leader in Saskatoon, and thank you so much for that. <laughs> and I have to acknowledge, of course, Carol, who's worked this entire time without a single penny, and she's been the most amazing volunteer coordinator, and the most smiling, and the most loving and caring person that I have ever worked for, and just has always been there and gave it 100% and it was overwhelming at times and you just stuck in there. I thought some days you were going to come back and you did. I called, are you coming in? And you're like, no, uh, I'll be there soon. <laughs> you know, I'm like, my gosh. And then Haven is here somewhere and I'm not sure. There she is and she's my campaign coordinator, Haven Reese. I know, I know however many votes, however many votes I got. Uh, she definitely got 10% of them, maybe 20, from how graceful she is on the phone. Like, just just so balanced and, and easygoing. Unbelievable. And thank you, Haven. And I also have to acknowledge Sam. You know, Sam, you have to stand up and work so hard, tirelessly. And, and it's got him and our roofing can be fed, and our volunteers fed and watered and for. And the same goes for Heather, who also brought her pumpkin stew in, and all of the other people who brought flowers. And, and gifts and love and encouragement. And I, and I also have to acknowledge, though, um, um, my partner, Lenore Swiston. Yeah. <laughs> my, my, my food. <laughs> you know, uh, my best friend, uh, my greatest support, um, who's always pushed me to be more my biggest challenger. We've always joked that if I, if, if I can take on her, I can take on anybody. <laughs> Honestly, uh, there, I, Lenore is, is such a brilliant woman and has done so much for this community and, uh, and has been r wrongly done by this community in many respects and it was sad to see that come out in this campaign because all those detractors don't know her and they don't understand what she has given to Saskatoon. Yeah. And, uh, Saskatoon is a better place. and I'm standing on her shoulders. And I am so grateful for everything you've done. And someday, you know what, people will see everything you have truly done. And I love you, of course. <laughs> but I also, I, wanna, I also wanna recognize, of course, though, you know, all of the volunteers, all of you, for everything that you've done. And there are so many of you, and I wish I could recognize you all. And all my donors, like, thank you. Like, the universe truly conspired to make sure that this campaign had everything it needed, and that's why I so believe that whatever this outcome is, is it was meant to believe be, because wherever we turned and when we needed something, it just showed up. And uh, that just tells me that there's there's something bigger than us at work here, yeah. and uh, and this would happen, and it's happening as it needs to happen. And I am but a person of service to all of you and to this community to be where I need to be, when I need to be, and I just keep my heart and my mind open, and uh, and whoever the the, the winner of this is of this uh, this election, of course I wish them all the best because I know everybody, whether it's Mr. Atchison, it's Mr. Clark, or even his own special way, Mr. Hines. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know what? They, they're trying to make a difference in the best way that they can, and all of the candidates that run for council, I everybody should be very proud of themselves because I think. We put Saskatoon back on the map and nationally. People were interested. I think our campaign absolutely made that possible. Yeah. And we have a lot to be proud of. And, and so here's to all of the policy pieces and all the hard work and all the love, all the vision, all the commitment, all the passion and all the possibility that we saw for this city being possible now. Let's keep though that drive, that energy, that hope, and let's make Saskatoon, the best place to live, work, raise a family, and be. Yeah.